Jeff Ho was out with friends near Borough Market on the night of the terrorist attack. He's only just come out of hospital and is now telling his story. I got stabbed in, firstly in the throat. Uh, they came here and then they tried to stab me in the stomach and then, to be perfectly honest, not certain how the one here happened. But uh, that knife blade which came at my throat severed the Adam's apple. And though everything is fine now, to be able to speak, uh, eat, drink, although I can do it without putting pressure on the bandage and holding it in place, it's a lot easier to do so. Instead of going home after the pub, he decided to get something to eat at a nearby restaurant. And then the attackers came. They kicked in the door and I knew instantly then, because I saw the suicide vest, what looked like suicide vests, that I had to put myself in harm's way and try and delay them because otherwise they'll just go on a killing spree. When they came in, they initially started yelling, get, get on the floor, everyone get on the floor and lie down on the floor. And I knew that if anyone did that, they would just be dead instantly. The terrorists would just start carving them up because you're prone in, in that position. You can't do anything. So all I tried to do was actually put myself between them and my friends and try and buy the police time because I knew they were in the area. You were effectively prepared to put your life yes. at risk. And I'd do it again in an instant. When they came at me, they attacked, uh, they got me in the throat. I tried to, I think what happened was I tried to actually parry the blades. The knife wounds on my hand suggested that I tried to push them off that way and that must, I think that's what happened because otherwise they would have got me somewhere vital, like one of the veins or, you know, the arteries, uh, and I would have died instantly. What was it like to look at them in the eye? All I saw in their eyes was rage. They were so angry. It was like, they were animals, to be perfectly honest. And then when they came at me, it was frenzied. They were just stabbing everything. They were just... There wasn't any calculation in it. They were just really wanted to, you could tell they just really wanted to hurt as many people as possible and they didn't care about life. All I saw in them was rage. Any point did you think that you might die? It never really crossed my mind until I actually got up to London Bridge itself. There was this one moment where I thought, you know what? I just need to sit down for a bit and close my eyes. And that's when my friend kept talking. He said, no, don't close your eyes. Keep talking. Keep telling me what to do. Just keep talking to me full stop. Just say something. I didn't really have time to actually think about that at that point. I just wanted to close my eyes. And I suppose that was the moment where I first thought, you know what, this is really serious. I know I'm not dead. I know I should, uh, if they were any better at knife combat, the terrorists would have killed me outright there and then in the restaurant. But I've got a chance of surviving this. As long as they get me to hospital quickly, I'm probably gonna make it. I'll never forget seeing the footage of myself walking over the bridge, bleeding out. I really wish my parents had never seen anything like it, seen that. No one should have to see their kid do that. Jeff distracted the attackers long enough for his friends to escape. I don't think of myself as a hero. I just wanted to do the right thing and help protect my friends. I think I did that, and that's what makes me happy. Knowing that I gave my friends, you know, the extra seconds, maybe a minute or whatever it was to get out of there.